Hi folks, Paul Simon here and this is uh, solving trig equations you guys. So we're going to combine a little bit of our algebra skills with our trig skills right here, especially with factoring. So solve each equation for uh, 0 degrees in between 0 degrees and 360. So they want angles and degrees right here. Alright, so right here sine of x, cosine of x, minus 1 half cosine of x. Here I'm going to factor out um, uh, the cosine of x and see what I did. I factored out the cosine of x. And the zero product property says I can set each of those factors equal to zero. So the cosine of x equals zero at 90 degrees and 270 degrees. And the sine of x equals a half at 30 degrees or 150 degrees. So you're, there's my answer right there. There's four different places to make that uh, ter top equation true. Okay, let's try this one here. All right, now let's, let's pretend like that was y squared. Here, okay, so this is like 2y squared plus y minus 1 factors the 2y minus 1 times y plus 1. Similarly, this factors the 2 sine of x minus 1, sine of x plus 1. Then you can set those factors equal to 0. So here I get x equals a half, um, and I, I get x equals a half at uh, 30 degrees and 150 degrees, and sine of x equals negative 1 at 270 degrees right there. So there's my, my choices for that one. Okay, this one they want me to give answers in terms of pi. So when you see this, this is in terms of pi. So here's the first one right here. All right, what I did on this one, since I have cosine squared and I have a cosine here, I'm going to use my identity for sine squared. Remember, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 1 minus cosine squared in for that sine squared right there. And then I'm going to add cosine squared with this cosine squared right here, and I get 2 cosine squared minus the cosine x, and then these ones, they cancel each other out because they're on different sides, so it equals 0. Then I can factor out a cosine x, so GCF it out, and then uh, set those factors equal to 0. Cosine of x equals 0 uh, at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, and the cosine of x equals a half at pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. All right? All right, so let's do this one here. Okay, this one I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to replace this cosine squared for 1 minus sine squared. Okay, and then it's pretty much the same thing except you set the sine of x uh, equal to those factors and you get 0 pi pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Okay, so this one says solve each equation for all real values. So they don't want it in just a one complete revolution. They want to keep going around and around and around. So I'll show you that at the end right here. Okay, remember uh, si uh, secant squared, you guys? Secant squared equals 1 plus tangent squared. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this. Uh, so this is going to be 2 times 1 plus tangent squared right here. So go ahead and distribute the 2 through and, uh, and then put it in descending order. There's my tangent to the fourth and I multiplied uh, both sides by negative 1. So, and then this factors right here to, um, uh, that factors to uh, tan squared x uh, minus 3 and then tan squared of x plus 1 equals 0. Then set those factors equal to 0. Okay, I can never get something squared equaling a negative 1. So I can disregard that guy right there. But this one right here, this says tangent of x equals plus or minus uh, square root of 3. Okay, so tangent of x equals uh, root 3 when, when x is uh, um, uh, pi over 3. Okay, so um, uh, since it says for all, then i got to think about all for all of them. So pi over 3 plus... So tangent is positive. This is positive in quadrants 1 and quadrants 3. So they're pi apart in quadrants 1 and quadrants 3, or 180 degrees apart, which is pi. They want it in terms of pi. Okay, that's what it says up here in terms of pi. So that's what this pi is right there. So I add pi k on this one right here. And then the minus part, you guys, is going to be uh, when um, uh, it's negative pi over 3 plus pi k. All right.